The Frank Green reusable cup. Is this the creme de la creme? So I got this as a gift from my boyfriend's sister over Christmas. I've been using it for the past month, so I thought I would share a little review on what I think about it. And yeah, hope you guys find it helpful. So a little bit about Frank Green. It is not a person, it is a brand. It is started by serial entrepreneur Benjamin Young, who is also a caffeine enthusiast and an environmental advocate. So actually, before starting Frank Green, he worked in mergers and acquisition and waste management. And after working a bit in that industry, he realized that rather than managing waste after waste is created, it's better to alter behavior that creates waste in the first place. On their website, it is also said that it only takes 15 uses to offset the environmental impact it takes to create your Frank Green product. So on to the review. I want to look at seven criteria. This might be a lot to some people, but I want to be as comprehensive as possible. I want to look at how it looks, what the material is, its drinking experience, does it leak, does it keep your drink warm, its weight, and how easy it is to clean. Some elements here are more subjective than others, but I'll let you be the judge. Here's my opinion. So number one, its look. This looks like the apple of reusable mugs. Goes perfectly well with my AirPod case. This is designed with curved edges so it fits comfortably in your hand. And it is also designed aesthetically so it feels more like an accessory than a mundane like reusable product. It's pretty smart when you think about it that the logo is positioned here and the drinking opening is positioned here. So that when I drink my drink, you see the Frank Green logo. Good one, Frank Green. It also doesn't hurt for the brand's marketing that this is super Instagrammable as well. So onto the materials. So Frank Green cups come in several versions. This one in particular has a plastic lid and a stainless steel and ceramic bottom. What I love about this is that the ceramic inside makes for a really good drinking experience. Uh, you know, sometimes when you drink from reusable cups, you can taste the plastic or the material or the metal even. This doesn't have that. It kind of gives the benefit of drinking from like a ceramic mug at home. As to the plastic lid, this is a polymer called Triton. It is BPA free and also US FDA and EU approved. Some people are icky about plastic. Personally, I'm okay with this particular lid because it has passed through the test of so many regulating bodies, but it is up to personal preference as well. As to stainless steel and ceramic, they are of the highest grade that are used in Frank Green, so I'm pretty happy about that. So number three, drinking experience. So here I really want to talk about how it feels drinking from the mug with the lid on. So here's what I think. I think that with the curved edges, even though it looks good, it doesn't allow for the best drinking experience. Don't know if it's the design of my mouth or the lid, but I always leave a bit of coffee here, which is annoying and sloppy, I think. Also, I personally think it actually takes a bit of energy to push this button. It's as if I need to work out my finger a little bit more at the gym next time to make this work. When I'm at home or when I'm at work, I actually like to just take off the lid and drink directly from this rim here, which I don't know if it beats the purpose of the cup a little, but I pretty like drinking from here. So onto the leak test. I think this test is pretty important because a lot of us lead busy lives and we sometimes just want to drink our coffee and then throw the mug into our bags. And if it leaks, it's just not the best, it creates problems. Okay, here we go. And this is on a MacBook, so. So the cup has passed the leak test. I have read on other reviews online though that it gets a bit leaky. So my personal advice would be just to screw it on really tight and make sure that after cleaning, the bits are screwed on right. So next is keeping warm abilities. So I have tested this. I should really get a thermometer to really quantify this. But personally, I feel that it does keep warm for a bit, but not super long. And I think mainly it's because of its plastic lid. That's where it loses heat. After you put a hot drink in, this part feels cold, which means that the heat is kept inside. But this part feels a bit warm. And I'm guessing that 
this is where heat gets lost. However, I do feel like it keeps your drink warm to a reasonable degree if you're not a ridiculously slow coffee drinker. But if you intend to keep your drink warm for long because you're traveling from one place to another or for whatever reason, this might not live up to your needs. Now the weight. For the regular version, which is 10 ounce, right between a Starbucks short and tall size, this comes up to about 230 grams. Not bad. Compared to other popular reusable coffee cup options, it's heavier than a silicone stojo cup and comparable or lighter than a keep cup. And next, the cleaning part. So let's take a look at how we can clean this cup. I think this is a concern for a lot of people in terms of hygiene. The main part to take apart is this lid. And I feel like I already lost some parts looking at this. Having said that, once you get used to it, it is a pretty easy cleaning experience and you could get pretty thorough with your cleaning. The only thing that might be tricky to clean is frankly, no pun intended, the stitch along the inside perimeter of the lid. But that could be solved by using a smaller cleaning utensil like a toothbrush. And to put it together again, this is how it goes. This is also dishwasher safe if anyone's interested. I also like a lot that the company is very purpose driven and I especially like this piece of advice that founder Benjamin gives to budding eco entrepreneurs. It is to ensure that they are solving a market problem, not just doing good. In the case of Frank Green, each time a customer uses a reusable mug instead of a disposable one-time use cup from a cafe, the cafe is saving 20 to 40 Australian cents per person. So in a year, the cafe is saving 100 Australian dollars. That's around 70 US dollars. This goes along with my belief that we can't just go into business designing a product or a surface that's just nice to the world and people around us. If you want to do that, you need to start a charity. If you're starting a business, you have to look at the practical and financial needs of the people you're surfacing or the businesses you're connected to. So in conclusion, I think this is a fantastic cup to use, especially while driving. You could easily press the button to open the opening and then drink it. Close the opening again with the press of a button so you're not afraid of it spilling over when you drive. If you check on the website, they have plenty of color options that are really millennial. I meant that as a plus thing. So you could choose what you like. And that's my review. Are there any other eco products you want me to review? Leave me a comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to hear more from me, hit subscribe. And I'm also on the Instagram at the Gloria U. Bye for now.